Good afternoon guys. It's choppy outside today, I tell you what, it's enough windy up by the coast where I am. Anyway, welcome to my channel guys, Joey Barnett TV. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Let's just jump onto my channel. Hope you all enjoy my content. Obviously a massive thank you to those that have been with me from day one of my journey. I um, can't thank you guys enough. And a big shout out to those that are actually taking their time to share my channel because that's what that that means more to me than, than anything if you guys can share my channel it makes me feel so good um because it's all about awareness for me it's, that's what it's all ever been about it's not about gain you know money does come along the line later on when new doors open up i'm um, quite aware I'm quite aware of that but for the minute uh my my goal and my aim is to spread awareness and that's why I like spreading awareness about fake people. You know who I'm talking about. I'm not going to give him no airtime whatsoever, guys. So, anyway, I hope everyone's had a good weekend. I really, really do. Um, yeah, living as a reformed person. It's a new way of life for me. Uh, it's a great way of life for me. And a lot of new doors are opening up. So, when I've got a few hours spare during the daytime, what I like to do is um, artwork. Now that stems back from uh, prison from way back in the day. And when I got out, I vouched that just because I started painting in, in jail, I vouched that when I got out, when I landed, I'd be buying all the proper um, paint sets, all the paints and um, start painting. And to be honest with you, I find it very, very therapeutic and I, f I find it takes my mind off of a lot of things in life. So um, when I'm doing artwork, you know, I don't think about anything apart from the artwork, what I'm doing. And that's, that also goes um, for my motocross bike. And this is why I've got my, um, my kit on today, because I'm going to be talking to you guys about motocross in, in a bit. I'm going to be covering quite um, a wide range of, of content today for you guys, because... I've left. I've left um, my channel for the weekend. I haven't really uploaded much content. I know. I know for a fact there's people out there. Fuck the lights fell off. Oh well, it's better without it anyway. But yeah, um, I know for a fact there's people out there what rely and wait for my content daily. There's people out there that I'm. I'm. I'm reaching that you know don't go out of their house and they live you know for not live for but basically it helps them along the way by watching my videos it helps them along the way that people can change you know and it helps quite a lot of my followers to know that i've had quite a lot of problems in myself including a 25 year drug addiction um you know a lot of years spent in jail you know and this if i can do it if i can quit drugs and if i can beat a drug addiction then you know and not go to jail and change my life and reform myself, then I'm sure you can too, because I'm not the only strong-minded strong, strong -minded person. And that's what you need to be. You need to have a level head. You've got to be very, very strong-minded. And you've got to be very strict on yourself. You've got to be arrogant. You've got to be stubborn. Sometimes you've got to be violent on yourself. Um, and, you know, to just until that light switch flicks in your head and, and you, you know, you learn to say no, um, that... You know, that could take so many different ter different times to, to learn how to um, actually put that to bed. You know, you could relapse time and time again, but don't ever give up. Don't ever give up. Keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. And for everyone across my um, channel, which have got addictions, because I'm sure there's quite a few on my channel with addictions. You know, um, as I said, if you go back onto my videos, you'll see I was addicted to drugs for many years. But I always knew i always knew that one day when the time was right i would quit and you know i would change my life for the better and that's what i've done i changed my life for the better and since i've done that i've not looked back and that was you know just before i got recalled in 2007 so that's how long i've been straight for and and, and um yeah new doors opening up one of my good friends messaged me uh we well, didn't message me he rang me the other day a very good friend of mine called Razor, Noel Razor Smith, another very good um, crime writer, uh, done plenty of years beyond the door. He's actually a, an ex-lifer. 
someone what I've known inside jail and outside jail, and yeah, I've got a lot of time for him, he's got a lot of time for me. So yeah, he rang me up the other day and um, presented me with an, a really good opportunity that um, he'd give my number, he'd give my name onto a film director of, I'm not allowed to uh, actually say what channel is at the minute, but uh, yeah, it's in the makings, I've agreed to do it. And what it is, it's going to be so good, it's going to be such good viewing. What it is, it's 20 ex-long-termer prisoners, so obviously I'm, a, I'm an ex-long-termer, and it's going to be 20 celebrities, and we're all put into um, an old prison, which is now closed down, I think it's in Doncaster, but we're all put in there for eight days and eight nights, and we've got to stay together for eight days and eight nights, and we the ex-long-termers have got to show the celebrities how we used to live our lifestyle. And I made a few of the directors laugh, actually, because I said, well, if, if that's how you want me to be, like I was in jail, you better let me have a shank, because I, I was run around, I, I run around shanking a few people, and I always had a tool, you know, like all other inmates do, and it made them laugh, do you know what I mean? And then I said, that you know, you better um, get a few bottles of uh, orange so that I can start um, putting one down. Uh, a bit of vooch and that, and just I've made them laugh. So yeah, I've got all that. To, I've got all that coming out. That's not a documentary, by the way, guys. That is a natural film. And I, what I'll do, I'll announce more about that as as the days go on a little bit more. But yeah, this is all happened since I've reformed myself and got all my life back together. Now I'm a changed person. People want me f uh, because they know I've got the experience. That, you know, I don't. Talk no bullshit. I'll tell you straight how it is there, straight out of my heart, straight out of Yulsi's mouth. I don't put airs and graces on things. I don't exaggerate. I don't fabricate stories. I don't make stories up. This is why most of my followers across my YouTube on this channel here have, have um, warmed to me because they know I'm an honest person. And if I've got something to say, I'll say it to their face. Um, but yeah, it's all good, man. It really is good. And it's very good, uh, positive vibes. So last year I'd done a, um, a painting and um, a very good friend of mine called Rod Harrison I was in contact with um, and he's by the way one of Charlie Bronson's team um, along with Richard Booth and uh, Ivor and that but yeah I agreed um, I said to Richard um, I would send him one of my paintings and uh, yeah with um, pleasure so that um, one of my paintings, what happened was, was um, I'd done a good painting of an old rowing boat on a beach, a really good scene. I'll show you the painting in a minute, what I actually done. And um, I donated it to um, a charity. Um, I think the charity's name was Stairway. Doorway. Oh, that was it, Sam. Yeah, it was called Doorway for the Homeless. And um, my actual painting, what I'd done, went into an auction house. It got sold and the money from that went to the went to this charity and I'll tell you what that made me feel so good. I'll actually spin the camera around and I'll show you um one of the uh, magazines which I'm in and the, uh, the actual picture what I drew. So let me just pause the camera and spin it around. Right. There as you can see I'll put the light on for you too. It's actually called Prison Legends look. I'll tell you what, it's a pleasure to be in it because you've got some really, really important people in there. See if you can pick out who they are. I'm not going to mention their names. Let me know in the comments. And who's that, who's that good-looking fella there? Oh, look, who's that? Joey Barnett. What a blinder. So, yeah, guys, there's me painting what I've done, as you can see it. And that got sold and went to a charity. But what I'll do is I'll flick through the book. But it's, it was such a pleasure to go into this into this booklet. It really was because, as I say, on the front of it, it's actually prison legends. And that's what I'm classed as nowadays. Ronnie Biggs. Said I weren't going to tell their names. And there's a write-up about it too. Um... Actually, let me go back onto my one and uh, I'll stop it on there for a bit and let you have a read. The story goes on to tell you where I found the love of art.
So yeah, I'm, I'm sure you're able to stop and pause that video, guys. Where was I up to? Right, yeah. Linda Calvary. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to do this with one hand. The tax man, Brian Cockrell. Buster Edwards. So yeah, it's a pleasure to be amongst these, isn't it, guys? Imagine being amongst these lot. He comes from my area, Joey Paul. Comes from Rose Hill. Or Brucey Boy. The scrap yard merchants. They made a few quid in their time. They were very, very, very shrewd, shrewd brothers. A lot more shrewder than the craze. They um obviously had violence in abundance but they also had a business side of them where they made a right few quid Harry Roberts I could talk quite a bit about Harry Roberts because he killed three policemen and he's actually out of jail now um, and he killed three policemen up at West London years ago now you've got people like Michael Peterson aka Charlie Bronson never killed no one and he's still in jail five decades later Where's Justice? And that brings me on to him. Look, that's a good picture of him, isn't it, old Charlie? Rest in peace, Roy. He could, he could have, he could have a fight, couldn't he, old Roy? Jack Spot. Right. So here's the. Uh, See the homeless, help the homeless. The pro all the proceeds of this book goes towards charity. Yeah, it's lovely to be part of that, guys. It really is nice to be part of that. I feel really, really humble for being part of that. I'm going to shoot off here, guys, because I've, I've got a few bits to be getting on within a bit. But whatever you're doing, stay safe. Have a great day. I'll be back at you again shortly. Peace.